today then I'm going to move on to making a start of the cab. Now the advantage with this sweet pea loco or meat made loco, loco or whichever version you're making you can, you've got some scope to do it how, how you want to do it because you never see two the same. Uh, so I won't be adhering to these drawings really at all. I'm going to make it to my own requirements. Down in my garden shed I've got about six pieces of this shelving. It's 18 gauge which is about just over 40 thou which is approximately a millimetre. And uh, it's, it's just ideal really. I know it's got all these holes in but most of them will get cut away. And any that don't I'll either make a feature on or fill them in. So I've made my cab roughly around the size of this shelving and my plan is I was going to cut them all individually and then fasten them together with some angle but having thought about it what I might do is uh, try and bend it all in one so I've made this bender here, this sheet metal bender today it's only a quick a quick job I've knocked together out of some scrap items, two pieces of angle, two door hinges, a little bit welded on for the bolts to bolt to my bench, a clamping bar and two folding handles. And I've tried it on a piece of this sheet and it makes a nice job. So my plan is to try and bend it all in one as one unit. Back over on workbench now. I've got my basic shape cut out now for my cab, and it's a bit of a dilemma really. I don't know whether to cut the door out and the windows in all the relevant positions, or, or I'm contemplating leaving it and doing that after. I think it's a bit of swings and roundabouts here. Um, you know what you gain on one thing you're going to lose on another and vice versa because if I cut them out and that door it's making this piece over here uh, very narrow for me to for when I bend it and I'm worried that it's it's going to distort it when I bend it so what I, what I think I'm, I've decided I'm going to I'm going to get all the bends on the sides and the rear on both sides and then I'm going to just come up with a with an idea to clamp it all down ready for cutting everything else out so uh, I think I'll uh, I'll go ahead and do that then now just one thing to bear in mind here and I've bit obviously this is the first time I will have done it but You've got to make sure everything's marked out it's as accurate as you possibly can and it's a mirror image on both sides. And also, on my practice bends, which I've done on some other similar sheet, when you, when you draw your line for the width that you want your IE my cab to be, you've got to allow approximately depends on the thickness of the material you're using this but in my case where I've drawn my line for that bend where I wanted it to be it's actually turned out a quarter of an inch bigger it, just say for instance I want my cab at 12 inch 
I've got to actually bend it at, at 11 and 3 quarter because when my bends come up it's going to add an eighth onto each side which will give me then my 12 inch I'm ready to make my first bend now for anybody that's taking a really good notice you'll notice that this clamping bar is at an angle so what I've done, I've made another clamping bar to fit underneath that one because then I've set this one back on another hole in my, in my uh, sheet, sheet metal bender that I made and the reason I've angled it over is because I want this the leg of this to tuck up there so if I'd have clamped it straight through that would have had nowhere to go because it would have hit that so that's the reason for that so I'm now ready for bending it then I'm just going to double check everything that everything's square then I'll have allowed one eighth for my bend Yeah, I think that's turned out okay. Um, it's given a nice radius on that bend. I've got my, my base bent over, ready for the bolt for bolting it to, for uh, to loco. That's all tied in okay. So what I've got to do now then? I've got to bend these rear pieces in. to give me my back Well that seemed to go to plan, a bit of careful measuring and a bit of careful squaring up and it's come out more or less bang on, I'm pleased with that. So I think what I've got to do now then, um, I, were, I were very reluctant to cut all the holes in for the doors and the windows, just in case you know it didn't quite line up, but having looked at that I think I could have done it. So now I've got to just devise a way of clamping it down to get all these cutouts in. But I would rather have done it that way and be cautious, you know, but then then cut it out and uh, and it not be quite right. So I think that's it for this little part. Then I think uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll do all, all the cutting out in another part. So, thanks for watching then, if you've not seen my other videos, take a look at them, and if not, I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now then.